As we go into chapter 6, the chapter on bumper laterals, a couple of things we need to get into first, real, real briefly, uh, in, in, to introduce this. Uh, definition of a diagonal. A segment that connects any two non-consecutive vertices or corners. Okay, just think about a diagonal. Um, in, a, in a square, you cut it from you know, opposite corner to opposite corner. Uh, pretty simple to do. Square would look something like this, diagonal, and then we could also draw another diagonal the other way. Um, hexagon, if you were to draw something like this, you could draw it like that. Uh, there's one and there's another one. Okay, so that's a diagonal. A segment that connects any two non-consecutive vertices. Uh, and there's also two theorems talking about polygons, and we're talking about quadrilaterals, and, but we're going to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about polygons because, after all, quadrilaterals are polygons. Uh, and also to renew our acquaintance with types of polygons, convex versus concave. Concave means it's caved in on one side. It goes into the polygon. Convex means it doesn't go into, the, into it. These, would all, these right here would be all convex polygons. Concave looking something like this. Concave would be sort of like dun, dun, dun. that would be a concave polygon, okay? Interior angle sum theorem. If a convex polygon has n sides and s is the sum of the measures of its interior angles, then this equation sum s equals 180 times the quantity n minus 2. Okay? I think you've seen that equation on some tests before and in some other things. That is the interior angle sum theorem. We add all the interior angles of a polygon together, the convex polygon, uh, that's what it ought to be. If we know how many sides it is, then we can predict how many, uh, what the sum of its interior angles is. Exterior angle sum theorem. We got interior angles, we also have exterior angles. This one is real simple. If a polygon is convex, then the sum of the measures of the exterior angles, there's one at each vertex, is 360 degrees. That's it. Okay? The sum of all the exterior angles of a convex polygon is 360. Doesn't matter how many sides it has, it's just 360. Three sides, four sides, five sides, 100 sides, 200 sides, 10 sides. The sum of all the exterior angles, one at each vertex, is 360 degrees. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to look at several polygons, different polygons. We've got them up there. Set up a table and see if we can discover some things about these polygons and their angles. Got a drawing across here. This, of course, is a three-sided figure. We know all about those because we spend an awful lot of time in triangles. Okay, it's a triangle. Have a four-sided figure. It's called a quadrilateral. Have a five-sided figure. It's called a pentagon. Have a six-sided figure. It's called a hexagon. And then we have a, we don't know what it looks like. It's called an n-gon. It has, it has n sides. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is Look here and over here, what we've got is a drawing of the figure, number of sides has three, number of triangles that we can create by drawing diagonals that do not cross each other. So what we're going to do is draw diagonals that do not cross each other and see what we can come up with. Now, obviously a triangle, we can't draw any diagonals because all the vertices are consecutive. So there's only one triangle. However, we can draw one diagonal there. If we were to draw another diagonal across there, it would cross the other diagonal. We don't want to cross diagonal. We don't want uncrossed diagonals. So therefore, we can draw one diagonal here. And how many triangles do we have? That's going to create two triangles. Now, let's look at a pentagon. How many diagonals can we draw without crossing any? Well, if we start here at one, there's one. There's another one. Well, how many triangles does that create? Well, that 
creates three triangles. Now, let's look at a hexagon. Let's start up in this corner. Let's draw one. Start here. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. How many triangles does that create? One, two, three, four. Okay? So by looking at this, let's see if we can come up with a generalized way or a little algorithm or an equation that will tell us how many triangles we can get out of any figure. We have a regular triangle. We've got three sides. We have one. A four-sided figure, we can get two. Five-sided figure, we can get six-sided figure, we can get. If we have an n-sided figure, it looks like the number of triangles we can get is take the number of sides and subtract two. Okay? All right? In fact, that's the case. If we want to know how many triangles we can get out of any figure, take the number of sides and subtract two. Now, the sum of the interior angles is an equation. It's pretty simple. We know what it is for a triangle. We know if we add up all the angles of a triangle, we're going to get 180. But there's an equation that works for this. It is 180 times 3 minus 1 equals 180. 3 minus, I'm sorry, that would be 2. Made that wrong, didn't I? 3 minus 2. Okay, so we've got 180. 3 minus 2 is 1. 180 times 1 is 180. So we get 180. What's this one going to be? Well, 3, number of sides, okay? In other words, we're going to take this right here and put it in there. So it would be 180 times 4 minus 2 equals 360. So the total number of degrees we have in the angles of a quadrilateral is 360. Well, what's it going to be over here? 180 times the number of sides minus 2 equals 540. What's this one going to be? 180 times the number of sides minus 2 equals 720. What's this one going to be? 180 times the number of sides minus 2 equals, depends on the number of sides, doesn't it? Okay? Now, how do we find one interior angle of a regular polygon. I'm going to put down here regular polygon. Why? Only regular polygons have equal angles and equal sides. Well, we're going to take the total, divide by the number of sides it has, and we get 60. Well, we already know that each angle of an equilateral triangle is 60. Okay? So what's it going to be here? It would be the total, 360, divided by number of sides, 4 equals 90. This one, 540 divided by the number of sides equals 108. This one here, 720 divided by the number of sides equals, I think that's 120, isn't it? Notice that the number, it keeps getting bigger. Okay, as we add more sides, that angle keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, what's this one going to be? Well, it's this equation up here, all divided by the number of sides, isn't it? All right? Okay? Now, the sum of the exterior angles, what do we know the sum of the exterior angles is? It's always 360. Doesn't matter how many sides there are. We have a convex polygon, and all these are convex polygons. The sum of the exterior angles is 360. That goes back to the exterior sum theorem. Okay? Well, what's one exterior angle of a regular polygon equal? I'll put regular polygon because that's the only ones that are going to have regular. 
we take this divided by the number of sides. We get 120. So basically, if we were to come out here and do this, we know that this is 120 degrees. Well, doesn't that make sense? That right there is 160. Add those two together, you get 180, a straight line. Is that correct? Yeah. Because an interior angle and an exterior angle are going to equal, are going to be supplementary. Well, this in here is 90 degrees. So what's the exterior angle going to be? And now much choice, it's going to be 90 degrees too. So this is going to be 360 divided by 4 equals 90. And interesting, the interior and the exterior angle of a regular quadrilateral is both the same. Okay, this one in here, let's go up here. Inside here is 108. What does that make? If that equals 180, 180 minus 108 is, what is that? Try it. 72 degrees. Okay? So, let's take 360 divided by how many sides? 5. And that equals 72. Okay? This one here. Uh, let's come over here and do this. This is 120. 120. Subtract that from 180. What do you get? This is going to be 60 degrees. It's interesting, the hexagon is just the opposite of the triangle. Okay? So 360 divided by 6 equals 60 degrees. Well, what's this one going to be? 360 divided by N equals, don't know, depends on the number of sides. Now, a couple things we want to point out here. But now, notice that these are our equations that we're going to use. How do we get the number of triangles we're going to get out of this thing? We take the number of sides minus 2. And that's what we multiply times 180. Why? Because each triangle, when we add the total angles of a triangle together, equals 180. Well, how many triangles are here? 2. So we're going to get 360. How many are here? 3. So we're going to get 540. How many are here? 4. Well, that's twice as many as that, so it's going to be 720. How many in 10? 180 times 8. Okay? Understand? On and on it goes. So we can continue this uh, for as long as you want to, for as many sides as you want to, for a convex uh, polygon. Now, the interior angle of a regular polygon, we're simply going to take this sum that we get here from this equation, divide by the number of sides, and we get what one of those angles is going to equal. Here's what it would look like in a general equation. Unknown number of sides. Sum of exterior angles is always going to be, of a convex polygon, is always going to be 360 degrees. Now, one of the easiest things for me to remember is that of a regular polygon, an exterior angle and an interior angle always adds together to equal what? 60 plus 120 equals 180. 90 plus 90 equals, got it, 108 plus 72 equals, 120 plus 60 equals, guess what this and this one are going to equal, this one and this one are going to equal, when they add it together they're going to equal 180 degrees, okay? It's the table, you need to sort of look at it, memorize it, one of the things you really need to get down is this over here, okay? You've seen this equation and this equation on tests before and on tables, okay? Where does it come from? This is where it comes from. An n gon has n sides. How many triangles does it have? Number of sides minus 2. How do we know the number of angles? It tells you. It goes from there, okay? All kinds of problems we can solve using this setup, okay? But this is a table you need to get very familiar with. These are the common ones. Other ones you'll need to know is nonagon, decagon, dodecagon. Nonagon is nine. Heptagon, 
which is uh, 7. Um, you'll need to know that. Heptagon is 7. Nonagon is 9. Decagon is 10. Dodecagon is 12. Those are all ones you'll need to know how to do. And if you use this set of equations here, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know exactly how to take care of that.